I'm going to share with you three different ways that you can extend the life of your fuel injector. That's coming right up. Alright, so we all know that fuel injectors can get pretty pricey, sometimes uh, $60, $70 per injector, and you got six of them or four of them per vehicle, sometimes eight I guess on those uh, bigger vehicles. But I have a V6 here in my Chevrolet Lumina, and I'm looking to save some money, and I'm going to put them through three different tests. And those three tests are the continuity, the grime, and the click. Now you can go to the description just to jump to... Uh, the different ones that you want to if you want to skip over one. So the first test is the continuity test. Get yourself a multimeter. You can use mine or use a more expensive one. Mine's kind of a cheap one but it still works. See that green line right there? That's what we're looking at. That measures the continuity. So you want to measure zero meaning there's no electrical resistance. Electricity is flowing from point A to point B. Get your fuel injectors and measure the continuity between each of the two little brackets there. You're just looking to make sure that it pegs out to zero, and all six of them did. So these six are good and pass the continuity test. Next up, we got the grime test. So basically, I'm just going to clean off, clean up all this grime that's here on the end of the fuel injector. Make sure there's nothing inside that you can see. And obviously, you wouldn't want this going into your combustion or your little piston chamber, obviously. So clean this up. Make sure this gets off. I'm just using some carb cleaner here. It does pretty good. It breaks up. It hasn't hardened or anything or thickened to the point where you can't get it off. So if that be the case, I probably just throw the fuel injector away. So when you're done, just wipe it off with a rag and, and uh, check them all out. Make sure there's no grime there, nothing that can get into the piston and uh, into the combustion chamber. Next up, we got what I'm calling the click test. You just want to make sure that the fuel injector opens and fires and is able to uh, shoot the fuel into the piston chamber. Get yourself some jumper wire or lead wire. Connect, it doesn't matter, red, black on left and right little cables right there. Get yourself a battery. I'm just using a little drill 9.6 volt battery. Connect the black and then check for the click. Now you hear that click? Uh, just do it a couple times. Make sure that the... Uh, it's working. Obviously, don't hold it there. You don't want to burn out your fuel injector. Alright, so go ahead and do that for all six or however many you have. And then separate the ones that do and don't. So for me, the two on the top, they did not click at all. Many times I, I tried over and over. And it wouldn't, wouldn't work. Four on the bottom, they passed the click test. So... These four I'm going to keep, put them back in the car, two on the top, i got to get two new ones. So you want to save yourself some money, do these three tests, and uh, eliminate the ones that don't pass any of the tests, and uh, hopefully you guys can save some money. Well, that about wraps it up. Uh, I found that two of my fuel injectors were bad, and four of them were good. So that saves me from having to buy four new fuel injectors. If this video helped you out, share it with somebody who you think can benefit from it. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button and check out some of these other videos.